Marvel Studios will heavily be affected by Bob Iger making significant cutbacks to the amount of content that Marvel is producing. I just talked about the fact that he stated that cutbacks will be happening and that there will be far less Marvel Studios content. Now we know exactly how much content and well, not a whole lot is changing if I could be real with you. <laughs> So once again, this comes at us as an update from Bob Iger, who was talking about decreasing volume of Marvel Studios output, and specifically decreasing films and TV. Now, if you guys remember, a decade ago, when Marvel had licensed things out to ABC, to Hulu, to Netflix, to Freeform, wherever, we were getting about 10 TV series a year and two to three films. Again, it was still pretty significant, but it wasn't all under Marvel Studios' roof as it was split between two companies, Marvel Studios Films and Marvel Entertainment, the comic side doing TV. That all got consolidated under Kevin Feige, so now Marvel Studios has to control everything. Talking about the future and how some of the content has suffered due to this, Bob Iger revealed the new plan going forward. He says, no more overloading the schedule and then he reveals the new plan going forward for marvel studios is two to three movies a year and two tv shows per year so this doesn't change a whole lot does it um that's literally how it's been outside of well like the first post-covid year where they loaded everything up because everything sat in a vault for literally like a year and a half, right? Outside of that, we're back to form. Two to three films a year, okay? The off year where Sony has a Spider-Man film, that's three films, and an Avengers film year, that goes to two films, right? That's literally the schedule here if you really think about it. So this makes sense. Now on the TV front, again, if you just remove the one like year and a half due to the pandemic affecting everything, we're back to exactly what we've come to expect. A live action show, possibly a second one, and maybe an animated one in there somewhere. And it sounds like animation isn't really accounting for the live action stuff going forward. So we're still going to be getting maybe three shows a year. If you count cartoons, four possibly. So like, okay. So we're still going to get five to six, maybe seven pieces of Marvel content a year. If you count Sony that contributes to that and then if you count well sony non-mcu i mean you're getting like what 10 11 marvel films and tv shows a year i mean that's still a lot of content um they're not really cutting back are they